in my opinion, this is a very exciting time to be doing business here in Farmington Hills. We always want to attract our new businesses, but work with our existing businesses to help them grow within our community. About a year ago, we decided to move into manufacturing because our customers were experiencing long deliveries and quality issues. I was very impressed with the help that I was given with the city of Farmington Hills connecting me with the right people that I need to connect with. Other businesses even that were in the area that I looked at to maybe even partner with. That's why I want to stay and grow in Farmington Hills. Our family goes back about 140 years in Grand Blanc, which is really, really nice owning a business here. People really support, you know, us uh, local small businesses here in Grand Blanc, and it just comes from just the overall feel. It's pretty much made up of small businesses. As far as the management team, certainly the city council, myself are included, are very much involved in attracting new business. We try to create an atmosphere that makes you want to come to this community. Our economic development team and our city manager are the, really the people that provide us with the leads, with the support that we want to accomplish. So the city is very proactive. Uh, they've had an economic development person on staff for a number of years now, seeing what we need, making sure that path or what it is that needs to be done is clear. Maybe that's working with the state or some other uh, opportunity like that. The city makes that easy or seamless. Well, here in the city of Romulus, we definitely view the vacant land that we have as a tremendous asset. And the reason for that is that's new jobs, number one. And so if you look at its industrial or commercial or residential, we're trying to build jobs. Jobs build other development, build revenue, will bring people to our community as well. We partner with a lot of statewide organizations as well as local organizations. We are really supporting our local farmers and our local agriculture. And so it just gives that added benefit to Grand Plank farmers, people nearby, that they are able to get out their produce. And it really comes from farm to plate on a very, very local basis. One of the big benefits that we feel that uh, Farmington Hills with our pre-planning meetings that we have available, it's really outlined the whole process for, for the people coming into the community and to identify any issues that they're gonna have going forward to the site plan review process. Sault Ste. Maria is one of the oldest communities in North America. We will turn 350 in the next two years, and it's also on an international border. So if you love the outdoors, there's a lot to do here, and you have the experience of a cosmopolitan city, of an international city, an international port, international commerce. You know, Hillsdale is a great place to do business. You have an unbelievable quality of life, and I think with all the recreation in the area, you have the opportunity to attract talent that understands that, people who want to raise a family, want unbelievable school choices uh, and want support from, from City Hall. We've moved from a pole barn in the country to one of the most iconic buildings in the city of Hillsdale with a college located here and the, the youthful environment is just a really nice place to do business. Romulus is kind of unique because we're between Detroit and Ann Arbor. So if you think about it, Detroit, they're drawing uh, clientele for that particular market. Uh, Ann Arbor, huge university. Ipsy, huge university. So a lot of people are coming to our area, not just for manufacturing, but there's a ton of other businesses that are coming in, research, development, education, health care. You know, Romulus is kind of the hidden gem in western Wayne County, and you don't have to deal with all the darn traffic. We identified the need for a larger, more technical facility. We purchased the vacant land and built a brand new world-class subacute care facility. The added benefit of coming to Romulus uh, is tenfold in the fact that the interstates of 94 and 275 present us a wealth of opportunities far and above from where we were. As a young entrepreneur, my wife and I have found to come see just be astronomical in our success. We walked through here, bought a home, and were greeted so warmly with our business proposition, and just our friendship with everyone we've seen. And it reassures me that we made the right decision for our family to move here. We're one of the first businesses here in Hillsdale to utilize the, the fiber network. We do have gigabit speed up, up and download, uh, so uh, bilateral speed in our office. Uh, it just happened to be that I was in the right spot to be one of the first ones to be hooked up. Having the connectivity in town is the way of the future as uh, businesses uh, become you know, smaller offices working remotely. It's a real benefit for the community. 
SMCSI is the Southern Michigan Center for Science and Industry. We're a training and education facility focusing on the skilled trades. I think uh, for the city of Tecumseh, it is critical that we create the uh, pipeline of a skilled workforce. And that's really what we're here, is to give the opportunities and options to these students. And long term, we foresee building that pipeline so companies here in Tecumseh and in the region uh, can have that skilled workforce to fulfill the shortage they're seeing today. One of the things that impressed me the most about what the City of Farmington Hills did is that same day when I was going to put a partnership together with another country, they were also able to connect us to French-speaking Americans that were looking for employment in the United States. One of our signature programs is nursing and healthcare and first responders for the, uh, all across Michigan and the Upper Great Lakes. So the Simulation Center is housed in the Smart Zone building in Sault Ste. Marie. It is so important to foster young talent in this area uh, because we are a rural area. The Simulation Center allows us to uh, give those uh, students and those health care providers uh, a leg up on the competition, so to speak, in terms of what they can experience and prepare for in a controlled environment. My name is Trevor Wynn and I'm the business librarian here at the Genesee District Library. It can often feel like you're kind of out there, you're in the ether, you're, you're online, you're Googling things, you're not really finding the answers that you need. But the library is a, always a great place to look for those answers. And you can bet that if I don't know the answer, I'm, I'm going to point you to an organization or a person who might be able to help you better. Collaboration is in the fabric of the community. Uh, it's something that is not a new concept to the Sioux, but something we're always striving to uh, continue to improve upon and perfect. We're very fortunate uh, for workforce development in Sault Ste. Marie to have in our location the Small Business and Development Center. Later today we'll be having our monthly meeting of our Economic Resource Alliance. When a entity or a group is wanting to come to Sault Ste. Marie, this is the group that can help them. It's really great that the City of Grand Blanc and the library have partnered up to support these entrepreneurs. It's so important that our local business people know that there are others that are rooting for them. 